This monitor is less than half the area of my current desktop display, and yet, by the end of this video, I might be ready to downgrade. Obviously, not everything about the 2725DF from Alienware is a downgrade. Some things are pretty big upgrades, starting, of course, with the panel. I mean, none of this sounds that new or exciting. QD OLED from Samsung Display? Seen it. QHD? Sounds like 4K for poor people. 360 hertz? Baby, call me when you got 500. Except in the real world, that's just not how it works. Products can be more than the sum of their parts, and this one is a lot more. Oh. And if I hadn't been putting on my best toxic elitist persona before, there were some hints on the packaging. For example, this 0 0.03 millisecond response time. Check out this pursuit camera test. It looks like a still image. This thing offers some of, if not the, best motion clarity we have ever seen on a display that doesn't use a cathode ray tube. To be clear, any OLED is going to be fast, much faster than any LCD, but this takes things to a whole other level. The next big hint is that 99.3% coverage of the DCI-P3 color space. That in and of itself doesn't make a monitor good. You could have a wide gamut display that, whether due to poor factory calibration or just bad product design philosophy with gross, you know, vivid Best Buy display model syndrome, just isn't accurate. But this one is. Friends, I am talking in SDR, a maximum delta E out of the box of 0.9, when two is considered fine for professional work. And in HDR, some of the best color accuracy we have ever seen on a display, ever. Remember when gaming monitors had compromises? Yeah, me neither anymore. A lot of this performance just comes down to Dell's decision to use a third generation 2024 model QD OLED panel from Samsung. We've got a full video on that over on the LTT channel where you can learn more of the ins and outs of it. It's sponsored by Samsung Display, but all of the numbers in it were measured by our team here in our own lab on these Alienware monitors, which I am very excited to be able to tell you guys about because they were still under embargo when we did that video. And the thing is, there's more to making a good monitor than just the panel that you integrate. There's the design and accessory package. This one has integrated cable management, includes DisplayPort, HDMI, DisplayPort to USB-C, and a USB-A to B uplink cable for the integrated hub, which has, I believe it's uh, three type A ports, one on the bottom, two on the back, and one type C. It even comes with a little built-in cleaning cloth which allows us to most easily see the biggest disadvantage of QD OLED. You see that kind of purple cast on the screen? Unlike a W OLED, which is LG's competing technology, QD OLED doesn't quite get black black, especially in a brightly lit environment like the studio we're in right now. It's not going to affect you in your mom's dimly lit basement or whatever, because like other OLED displays, when these pixels are black, they're off, no light. So in VESA True Black 400 mode or whatever it is, this thing will do 500 nits of brightness. That, next to a little bit of purple, you're not gonna see it. And you're especially not gonna see it in the 1000 nit peak brightness mode that it'll do, I believe up to a 2% window. But it is something to be aware of because, actually this is perfect, I've got my laptop here for comparison, it just isn't quite as black. There are also some other compromises compared to this monitor's bigger 4K or brother, and that's aside from just the size and resolution. It doesn't have any G-Sync validation of any sort, just FreeSync Premium Pro, though I'm not really convinced that matters. We enabled G-Sync with it before and it seemed to work fine, just fine. The bigger one is that because it doesn't have the same increased pixel density compared to the last one, you're gonna see more of the text fringing that people had talked about, particularly with the previous generation of this panel technology. It's improved, but not nearly as much as the 4K model. Of course, I wouldn't be saying that I'm considering upgrading to this one if I thought that any of these were deal breakers. And compared to the 240 hertz of that bigger display, oh, the 360 is just so smooth. It shouldn't matter that much. But man, guys, when I was shooting that last video, like I was just putting together kill streaks, like 
like I couldn't miss. And uh, I guess this is my chance to prove it. I am gonna swap out this mouse. I'm not saying this is a bad mouse, I'm just saying it's not my mouse, and I would like to use mine. There it is. And I also found this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring our 2024 CES coverage. If you're shopping for your next PC build or just new components in general, make sure to check out Be Quiet. Their premium products include power supplies, case fans, PC cases for said case fans, all-in-one water coolers, and high-performance air coolers. With Fruits in Germany, they've been in the industry for more than 20 years and specialize in making high-quality parts that are hard to hear. Be quiet. This year at CES, they're showcasing new white PC cases, white fans, and even white hard drive cages. Step into the world of quiet cooling with Be Quiet at the link down below. Actually, before we play games, I should probably poke around in the settings a little bit. First up, is it running at 360 hertz? Yes. <laughs> it's just crazy seeing that number like that. Uh, also, we can poke around in the menu a little bit. We're in HDR Peak 1000 mode. This is cool. You've got a little panel health indicator here. They offer a three year no burn in warranty. It's kind of neat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Microsoft? Sign in with a different Microsoft account. What does that mean? It means a different one. I don't know Ploof's password. <sighs> this has been a bug for at least two years. Get it together. Go to control panel at the bottom and sign out. Press F1. What control panel? I have no control panel. Other ways to sign in? Nope. Unbelievable. This is the workaround to remove these credential manager credentials. I, I don't know how to describe this other than unbelievable. We even got Ploof's password. Here, wanna, wanna, show, wanna show them the thing? Colin, enter the, enter the password. Let's show them the stupid loop. I hope someone from Microsoft is watching and fixes this immediately. Here's another, I can't play this game. Sign in is blocked. I just tried to sign in as my own account. Someone entered the wrong password too many times. What, what are you talking about? That's not a thing that happened. I guarantee you I can sign into that on my laptop right now. What? Well, when did that happen? Finally. Confirmed with Ploof, for some reason his locked after one attempt as well. So something about doing anything with your account on this machine just immediately locks your Microsoft account and makes it so you have to reset your password. Genius. Anyway, we're in. Hack the mainframe. I'm not in a gaming mindset anymore. Now I have an excuse for not being good. I have no sound, but hopefully I'm gonna be able to make this work. Do. I don't know what it is. You know, it's not about hertz. It's about the smoothness and the motion clarity, you know? Like it's just, it's impossible not to click the guy. Like it's, it's crazy, guys. I don't think I have to convince anyone that I'm not this good at video games. Like, it's just, it's crazy. Where'd he come from? I don't know this map. <laughs> I also have no sound. I'm using that as a legit excuse when I don't know where my opponent's coming from. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. Come on, where's my heads at? <laughs> Seriously though, you guys have seen me play games before. I am not this good. Oh, I fell. See, see? Someone who falls off the map should not be getting headshots like that. <laughs> if I wasn't seeing this, I wouldn't believe it. Or rather, if I wasn't living it, I wouldn't believe it. I have the most kills on the server with no sound. Got him! Already popped his shields, now he's dead. How dare you? How, oh wow, they're all, uh... See, that's the, these guys' problem. They are always playing the objective. Dead. Man, just, I swear guys, I cannot click heads like that. And yet there it is. I don't think I have in my memory encountered a piece of equipment that has affected my ability to game like this before. Like, it's just so easy to track things. It's not gonna compensate for not knowing your way around maps and stuff, you know? But just, it does compensate for just being able to see and track objects on the screen better. It's crazy. Yeah, we tried.
What I'd be most interested to see is if there's a difference in my hit percentage. I suspect there is, but I think that's only during deathmatch mode. So I don't know what to tell you other than to subscribe to Short Circuit.